Hello, my planner friends. I'm Jessica, and today I'm gonna to be doing a plan with me in the Happy Planner. I am gonna be using this kit here called Coral Crush by the Sweet Sticker Shop on Etsy. Now, I actually want to address a question that I get quite often on my channel, and that is, why do I have multiple planners and how do I keep them from becoming repetitive? The best way that I could explain is that this is like my hobby. And just like any other hobby or interest, you're going to want to collect, experiment, and invest in your hobby. How do I use them and keep them from becoming repetitive or overlapping info? Well, some info may overlap. But each planner I use has its own function. For instance, my happy planner is my daily journal. I have another planner that I literally list chores, errands, etc. Here in the happy planner, I put down main events of the day, feelings, and inspirations. I've always had a hard time keeping an actual daily journal, and I've always felt overwhelmed writing in it and keeping up with it. So the Happy Planner gives me the perfect amount of room and having it pretty and decorated keeps me inspired to take 10 minutes a day to just track some main events. Like today my son lost his tooth or any personal feelings I may have after a long distance phone call with my mom. So on Instagram, I'm okay with posting my Erin Condren spreads after I've written on them, but I would not feel comfortable doing that with my happy planner because the info is more private. Anyways, I hope that was a decent explanation. I am going to go ahead and set this up just like I would a normal planner with using this kit. Um, there will be no pre-planning because this is like my diary or my journal. If I want to add icons throughout the week, I will. Um, and I could explain how I use my sections a little bit more when we get there. So let me go ahead and remove my pages from the planner and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I always like to start off with my washi tape first, and I brought out these two here that I got from Recollections at Michael's, and I'm hoping that they're actually not too bright for the kit, but they are pretty much the closest that I own. Um, and I haven't gotten to use this one yet, so I'm kind of excited. I am going to run these two down at the bottom, and I think I'm gonna also run it along the sidebar. Because this kit is made for the Erin Condren, I'm hoping that if I do two rows, this is like regular and this is maybe one and a fourth size or something, it's a little thicker. I'm hoping that bringing it up into the box a little bit will make everything fit, we'll find out. But I'm gonna go ahead and place down the washi tape and I'm not positive if this is going, the quilt will poke through. If it does, I'm just going to be okay with it. So let me get started on this. I'm sorry, I just hit my tripod. <laughs> If you've ever filmed a plan with me, you would know how kind of difficult it is to set up the tripod and film around it. Anyhow, um, the quote is poking through this washi, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I actually like quotes anyhow, so. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna actually be too tall. We'll start from the top and then go down. So if I have to overlap over the washi tape, that is totally fine. Thank you. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do is do my sidebar, and I think what I'll do is put this one in the middle and the coral color on the sides of it. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and I'll be right back. My washi tape is down. I am going to go ahead and start up at the top and start setting down my sections. So the top will be my to do's, and I'm going to use the ombre heart checklist and just alternate the colors around. Now, you may be wondering what do I use a to do for in a journal type planner? There, I tend to list kind of things like goals or ideas or a wish list, a bucket list in a way. So that's how I kind of use that section. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my boxes down and then the headers over top. And what color do I wanna start with? How about we go this one first? Or maybe, maybe I should do the headers. I think I'll do the headers. With the to-do headers down, I'm gonna go ahead and place the ombre boxes underneath. Not even at all, not even at all. <laughs> do's down so I'm gonna move on down and go for the today section and there I will be using the patterned full boxes now in the today section is basically main events of the day if my son comes home with a 100 on a spelling test or maybe we watched a movie and had some ice cream just a fun place to track those kind of things of the day so I We'll go ahead right underneath the box, um, place the headers, and then the full boxes. I'm gonna take my last full box. I really liked this floral one, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that up at the top, kind of as my decoration right under April. Well, it'd be nice if I could get it even. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I'm gonna move on down to the next section, which is in this kit called Reminders. Now, a lot of the times they're called little bits or other things, and in this section, what I tend to do is just a continuation of the today section, or it could be where I just add my own personal feelings and thoughts or a quote that I saw that I liked. Anyways, the headers are not so much as important. Um, like I said, I just kind of freely use this as my journal. So I will put down the little reminder headers for the bottom section. And then 
I will go in with some half boxes that this kit came with. And then it also came with some filler washi. And we'll see how far we could get with that. So let me put down the little reminders first. I'm gonna see how far down the washi tape will take me, these little washi strips, by just matching, I'm gonna match them up with the full box patterns here, and then we'll take it from there. Well, that worked out perfectly because I actually have a little strip of wash, washi left from these washi strips. So I could have actually gotten away with, I think, two regular size washi rolls and there would have been, yeah, it would have filled up the space. So very, very pretty. I really, really like it. I'm going to put some things in the sidebar. Let's see, in the kit here, there's a little habit tracker. Um, I would like to put that down. I would also like to put the last of the ombre full checklist boxes in there as well, just for an extra place to list whatever my heart desires. And then I also would like to stack up these little three box, or well, there's four with three lines, three hearts. I'm gonna stack those up in the sidebar as well. So let me just do that real quick. I think I'll start with just putting my extra list in. I'm not going to put a, a header over the top because I'm just going to put whatever I want in here. Let's see, I think I will stack up these four next. One, that says to clean, to do, which since this is my journal, I may not, I may not pay attention to what the header says. And I'll go with the to go next. And last is to buy. And this actually might fill up my whole entire sidebar to be honest, so I might not <laughs> see much of my um, pretty floral navy patterned washi because I have one last little thing I would like to add. And let me take that down at the bottom here. And there we go. Now let's see. I do like to put a weekend banner down always. Weekend banner is honestly my favorite part and it is going to complete the look here on our spread or our layout. So I'm gonna take the weekend banner over the today. Okay, I also really liked that this kit came with a uh, TGIF banner. 
I want to apologize, everybody. My camera, it just gets tired sometimes and decides to just stop recording. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to do one last thing. Take advantage of these really cute decorative hearts that are a part of this kit. I thought I could put them around the dates. So let me plop them down. I'm going to grab some off here. Just kind of decorate. I think it's cute. Trying to get them all off at once. <laughs> Pile a little bump on my fingers and my hand. I really liked these colors and the way this whole thing turned out. Very, very, very pretty. So I think I will definitely enjoy it this week. There we go. So as I said, I'm not gonna do any extra pre-planning or nothing. This is how my week is going to look and I am going to enjoy journaling on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and reach for my planner and put the pages back in here. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and if you did, I would appreciate it if you would let me know by giving me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to come back to see my planner related videos. Until I see you again, have a beautiful day and bye bye my friends.